Congratulations on purchasing your Zoic Paleotech ZPT TB, the Trilobite Air Scribe. This is our budget air scribe designed to make fossil preparation more accessible for more people. So, when you receive your tool, open the box. Inside, you will find the most exciting part of it the user manual. We do ask that you read this because it contains everything that we're going to say in this video and more. Really important that you get to grips with what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to use it and a little photographic guide to how to use and insert the chisel stylus. Inside the box you have a little maintenance pack with some o-rings, some air tool oil and some silicon grease and some diffuser o-rings as well, we'll come back to those and explain what they are. And of course your air scribe with air hose, quick connect mail coupler of your choice, you'll have a choice on the website of which one you want to purchase and a protective sleeve that covers the stylus in transit but this is also very helpful to have on your workbench because everyone knows the feeling when the pen rolls off the bench and the stylus breaks. Before plugging in your Trilobite Air Scribe you will want to take a look at your compressor most likely you will have two dials on your compressor a large one showing the tank pressure and a smaller one showing the line pressure you can adjust the line pressure in your compressor using the big knob on the top. To plug in your trilobite, you'll want to take the male connector, push it into the female quick connect until the sleeve locks over it and the connector is locked. You can then turn on the pressure. As you can see now, it's set at 90 psi or 6 bars. You take your pen and this is the on off and throttle valve for the pen. So what you will want to do is open it up and the pen starts. A throttle valve also controls the amount of air that flows through the pen independent of the line pressure allowing you to use it either at full power or at lower power levels for finer work. So you can see this is full power Now we're going to show you a few tips and tricks on how to use the Trilobite air, sc air Scribe. This is an entry level Air Scribe though anyone of course can use it. Our first recommendation was something like this, especially if you're a beginner, try not to push too hard as you will most likely run into the fossil and leave dink marks. So in order to turn it on, now it's running at 90 psi. Always try to have it at a lower angle to the matrix, don't try to do this with it. For the same reasons as with all other air pens, the stylus can dig in and break the tip off or the entire stylus. If you tend to work the pen too hard and are too aggressive in your motions or press too hard, the stylus itself can grind to a halt and, it, and the whole pen stalls or there is the risk of breaking the stylus. So let me just try to show you how that can happen. See, I push too hard, the stylus stopped. In order to start it again, you can hear that noise. That make when it is being pushed too hard. As you can see with the trilobite, the bushing holding the stylus is hardened and tempered therefore you can use it for side to side motions without any fear of the bushing, bushing wearing out. You'll notice in front of the pen you have an o-ring. This is the diffuser o-ring and as its name suggests diffuses the airflow over the tip to help clear away chips. Occasionally you will be working on fragile fossils at which point you don't want as much air over the tip you want to have this on. If you are just roughing material out you can remove this and it gives you a bit more power however at the expense of much more noise. Because of the on off mechanism of the trilobite which is essentially a throttle valve when you turn it on and off and adjust the, uh, the power 
make sure that you're not inadvertently unscrewing the head. If you do happen to unscrew the head, the length of travel of the stylus can be longer than intended and it will break the spring. So just make sure before you use it that the head is properly tightened on, just hand tighten. Upon receiving the chisel stylus for your trilobite air scribe, you'll also receive this particular spring that has two ears on either end. If you take a look deep down inside the head of your trilobite, you might need to clean it up a bit if you've, if you've used it frequently, but you'll see another small hole besides the larger central hole where the stylus goes. On the pusher plate of the stylus, you'll also notice this little hole here. The idea is to have one of the ears of the, of the, of the spring inserted into that and the other one into the uh, auxiliary uh, hole in the bushing. Easiest way to do that is just to put the spring right in like that, drop the stylus in and if you notice that it's sitting <clears throat> flush to the level of the head or above it, it means that the two ears are not aligned. So you just grab the chisel and gently twist until you feel them clicking and you can rotate the head or the stylus, but not through a continuous rotation. Then you assemble the rest of the pen and you're ready to go. The purpose of that locking mechanism is to keep the chisel from spinning while in use. If the, if the chisel wasn't locked, it would rotate as, as, uh, as the stylus oscillates. It might take a few seconds more to, to change out a chisel stylus as compared to a regular stylus, but it is the system that keeps everything locked in place. We are now going to run you through some ba basic maintenance of your trilobite air scribe. First and foremost, if you use it on a regular basis, you will want to check the state of the O-rings in the pusher plate by unscrewing the head, taking the stylus out along with its spring, and checking to see if this O-ring has any wear on it. Normally these O-rings should last you a very long time, but from time to time, let's say if you use it every day, we would recommend that you take a bit of the silicon O-ring grease, run it on top of the O-ring, just to, just to keep it supple, putting one or two drops of the supplied air tool oil inside of the bushing, not a lot is required, run the stylus through a bit, put the spring back onto the stylus, reinsert it in the bushing, and screw the head back on. I'll mention I'm doing this on a lint-free surface, any uh, paper towels or any clean surface, please don't, don't do this in your workshop as you will probably get rock dust and powder inside your tool. You will want, if you use your pen daily, drop one or two drops of the supplied air tool oil inside, inside the male connector at this end of the hose. In order to do that, you'll want to switch off the line on your compressor, let the air out, at which point you can slide this forward, which will release the coupler, put one or two drops of the air tool oil, it will not need much more, push it back, turn the pressure back on. When you receive your trilobite air scribe, it will be oiled from the factory, and also every time you, you oil it or do any maintenance, you may find that oil comes out of the bushing. In order not to get that on, on your fossil or whatever it is that, that you might be prepping, you'll want to run it into a piece of towel or soft tissue just to get the oil out. If after a prolonged period of use you find that your trilobite air scribe is underperforming or the stylus begins to stall, there are a few things you can do to, to check this. First and foremost, unscrew the head of the tool, 
take out the stylus and its spring, check to see if the spring has by any chance broken, and check the, the state of the o-ring. If you find that a flat has been worn on top of the o-ring, it means it is no longer performing a proper seal, allowing the cycle to start. At that point, you will need to replace this pusher plate o-ring, so just take it out, and use one of the ones that comes in in the pack. Slide it back onto the pusher plate, use a bit of the supplied o-ring grease, dab it liberally on top of the o-ring, put the spring back on, insert it into the bushing, and reassemble the pen. If after you have replaced the pusher, pusher plate o-ring you still find that the tool is underperforming or the stylus is, is stalling, another thing you might want to check for is to see if there is any blockage within the body of the pen. What you will want to do then is unscrew the head, set it aside, check to see if anything is visible within that small hole. If it is not, unscrew the pen from the hose. Open the throttle valve all the way out and you'll want to blow compressed air backwards through the pen to blow out any blockages through that end. After that, reassemble the pen. Make sure everything is nice and tight. You don't need any tools, just do it hand tight. Close the throttle valve. Put the head back on. plug the pen in and run it. If after having replaced the pusher plate o-ring and checked the orifice inside the pen you still find that the pen is underperforming and the stylus is stalling, another thing you want to check for is if there are if there is any de debris on the stylus. So you will want to take the head off the pen, take the stylus out, take the spring out and gently run it through the bushing. There should be extremely little resistance to none and a smooth feel to the inside of the bushing. If you do find that you have bits of debris and rock dust onto, onto the stylus shaft, you want to use some acetone or some isopropyl alcohol, even ferry liquid, just give it a gentle, gentle scrub, make sure it's clean, take a couple of drops of air tool oil, put them into the bushing, run the stylus through, again checking to, checking to feel if the movement is nice and loose, put the spring back on, insert it into the head, making sure it seats properly so you will want the pusher plate below the top level of the head, screw it back on, plug the pen in and run it. Thank you so much for watching this video and we really hope you enjoy using your Trilobite AirScribe.